Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you enjoy what I got coming up for you. Please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, this is just an overview video for an upcoming blog and video series on exactly what it kind of says here. A sample starter app using Ionic Framework with React JS, uh, showing how to integrate a side menu, uh, tabs, and an authentication flow in your application. We will eventually get to integrating Capacitor. Um, a couple of interesting things we've done in the application. We've um, utilized React Context for managing the authentication state. So I haven't actually integrated Firebase or any backend. I just have a dummy authentication by saving something into local storage, but the whole flow on how you kind of manage that and how you keep track of that state in um, React Context is demonstrated in the source code, which is available right now on my GitHub. And I will also put the link below. Um, the other interesting thing we're going to uh, implement is React Query. Um, so here's the URL and React Query exactly what it says. It's uh, implemented a bunch of React hooks for fetching, caching, and updating asynchronous data in React. For anyone who's used the Apollo, um, the Apollo client with um, GraphQL, you pretty much get the exact same functionality um, that you get with the uh, Apollo client from GraphQL, but you can use it with your own data source. Um, the really cool thing that you'll find out is that um, if implemented properly, you really don't need to use Redux or something else for state management. You can manage the state from your data using React Query. Um, and any other state you need to manage, you can manage um, using React Context, which is exactly why I use React Context. So I'll walk through that in the um, videos that I'm going to create in the upcoming weeks. Um, once again, the source code that uh, shows the implementation of using React Query is already available uh, here on my um, GitHub. And then the last thing I've done is I've uh, utilized JSON server so that we have a, uh, a RESTful backend. This is an extremely cool tool that I've used before in the past. What it does is it allows you to just very quickly spin up a basic JSON server um, that works with the REST API for you to test your functionality. Um, it's literally as simple as installing the thing, creating a JSON database file, and dropping in kind of what you want your sample data to be. You, it can read and write and update it. Um, basically, all your REST API calls work uh, against it. Um, so as I said, this is the application. Um, the app is written right now, so you can, if you want to, you can jump ahead and uh, check out the source code, some other interesting things I've done in it. Um, um, I've actually, since I've implemented the authentication flow, we have implemented uh, some private routes here. Um, using Ionic React Router, we've implemented the public routes. And then also, like I said, we have the um, uh, bah, 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 side menu implemented uh, with, the tab, with the tabs. Uh, let's hold on a minute and see if I can just spin it up to do a quick walkthrough before we uh, end the video. So we got this guy spinning up. Uh, waiting, I gotta spin up my uh, JSON server also. Let me open this up. What I've done in the project you'll see is I've added a new, let me make this font a little bit bigger so everybody can see what's going on. Uh, it's a little too big. Um, let's close this. I've added, so here's my uh, JSON DB. It's pretty straightforward. I've added some dummy posts. And then I, the, you have the ability to add comments to your posts. So that's uh, what the app does. The What I've done is I've went into my package JSON and I've added a new script called RunDB, which will start up my database server. So npm run um, db. So my server's up and it shows the endpoints that are available to you. So let's go back and try to uh, restart my app. And here you see I have it. This is the kind of uh, responsive 
joint where it adds the decide menu when appropriate. Um, here's my tabs. I can click into detail. I load my comments. Um, I can add comments. Say blah 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 blah. Comment showing a toast. Comments added. I can delete posts, comment deleted. So it kind of shows you the crud. Let me do, let me go and log out. So right now it just authenticates anybody by clicking the login. And then we have the login. But as I said, I'm gonna walk through all this code so you can kind of see what's going on in the background. And uh, hopefully it's something you enjoy. Like I said, please make sure you like and subscribe. Um, also, Please try and uh, don't try, but definitely come check out my YouTube channel and see. I got a bunch of good stuff going on here. So here's my YouTube channel. Let's pause this. We have a whole bunch of videos here already on React.js. Um, I have a separate playlist on View also. Um, and once again, this video will be added to my I Ionic React code walkthroughs here. So. Um, thanks for stopping by, um, and hopefully you enjoy the content. Please leave comments below. Let me know if you want to see something different, and enjoy the rest of your day. Bye now.